Well, a lot of us are familiar with the site LinkedIn, which is known to be the world's largest professional network on the internet. People use this network to find a career, internships, professional relationships, and more. Joining us today to discuss more on this valuable network is Andrea Grant. Welcome to Coastal Living, Andrea. Hello, and thank you for having me. Absolutely. So before, you know, we started the interview, um, I'm someone who has never um, really been involved in having a LinkedIn profile. Um, so, you know, what I learned from you so far is that it's never too late. And I have to ask you, why is LinkedIn, um, why has it become so relevant, especially now? It's so relevant now because 95% of recruiters are finding their talent on LinkedIn. 95%. And LinkedIn themselves actually report that three people are hired every minute on their platform. So by the time you and I finish talking, that's what, 10, 12 people that will have been hired already today? Since it is an employee's market, after all, how does LinkedIn benefit job hunters the most? I'm so glad you asked that. So there are three reasons why people flock to LinkedIn. One, they connect to their dream job faster. On LinkedIn, you can bypass everybody and connect directly with the hiring manager for that job. Number two, they can actually get the scoop on the company culture before they apply. Now, I don't know about you, Jocelyn, but I've been in a situation where I hated going to work because it was so toxic. Now, I know that's not you, but that was me. If I would have had access to LinkedIn back then, I could have bypassed that and not even applied to the job in the first place. And then number three, people are quick to get all their coins. We want to be informed and educated so we can advocate and negotiate for the best salary possible. A lot of us are wondering, what are some top mistakes that we need to avoid? I'll give you the top three. So the first one is, do not skimp on a professional headshot or photo. Number two, don't send someone an invitation without explaining who you are and why you want to connect. You wouldn't just randomly call someone up on the phone, right? And then number three, don't assume that people are just going to read your whole profile. 